So another important motion for me to be able to take my arm overhead is going to be able to achieve this external rotation or movement out to the side. Now, um, a couple important pieces to this. One is that most people that have tightness, putting their elbow or uh, arm all the way against the ground drops the elbow a little bit more shoulder level, below shoulder level, so this can be a little uncomfortable. By taking just a small wedge, I'm gonna grab this little ankle weight and just propping it under my elbow will usually make it a little bit more comfortable. So taking anything stick-like, you wanna keep your elbow out to the side just slightly, but not veering too far away from the side of your body. And very lightly here, you're keeping somewhat of an upward angle on this stick or post, and you're pushing this hand in this up and out direction, keeping that elbow around 90 degrees. A lot of common mistakes with this will be, as people are doing this exercise because it's tight, they'll start to let their hand drop and their arm will go more straight up to the side. You wanna keep that upward angle, and you're gonna go out slow until you feel a little tension or pressure. If this is uncomfortable, you would just go in and out 10 to 20 times. If it's not too bad and it feels like more of a normal stretch, you're gonna get out there to where you feel some tension and you're gonna hold it anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds, maybe initially start with 10 and building up towards 30 and doing uh, sets of five to 10. And the other thing I like to have people do is that once they get out to where they feel a little tension and they've done that stretch like I've just described, the next piece is gonna be to activate the muscle into that stretch position. So I'll have them go out and they'll say, it feels a little tight right there, I'll have it back off just slightly and press the palm of the hand into the post to engage the muscle a little bit in that stretch position. And I'll typically have them hold five to 10 seconds and do this 10 times. So you have the stretch where you hold in this position, 10 to 30 seconds, depending on your comfort level, the goal being a longer duration stretch for a set of five to 10. And then after backing off just a little and pushing into the post to engage the muscle, holding for about five to 10 seconds and doing 10 of them. Now we're gonna do that same sequence with the arm out to the side a little bit more. So now my elbow is getting closer and closer towards shoulder height. This post or stick will be a little bit more vertical to push my hand straight back. And it'll be the same concept. I'll take that hand straight back towards the floor. And then as soon as I feel tension, I'll hold that position for anywhere between 10 to 30 seconds, a longer duration stretch being the goal. And I'll do that five to 10 times. And then after I'm done with that, I will go right to where I start to feel some tightness, maybe there, back off just a little, and I'll press the palm of my hand just lightly downward into this post. It's not something where the harder I push, the better. It's more of just light tension to engage the muscle into that stretch position and then relax. And a lot of times this will actually get more of a longer lasting effect as far as mobility is concerned, as opposed to just the passive stretching.